what we do without your freedom, boys. Will you fight? Did you sign up for this? What do I do with this? The haters could take our likes, but they couldn't take our subscribers. Are you with me, boys? Freedom! <laughs> What's going on everybody? Jesse James West here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start or finish to your day. You know I am because I'm having my French toast and my coffee and a BJ. A bad joke. If you guys are new to the channel, think about hitting that subscribe button, maybe the like button too. Totally up to you. But we're on the road to 100K. We're at 95 right now and it blew my mind. We're gonna dig into breakfast. I'm starving. I'm waiting for it. I'm gonna take you guys through my entire day today. And along with that, I'm gonna take you guys through my top leg tips to grow them, strengthen them, and overall just have a better leg day. So let's dive into this food before my stomach starts eating itself because I am starving. I don't know about you, but this is probably the most aesthetic breakfast that you could ask for. <laughs> Last bite, best bite. That is pure heaven. Make sure you guys pick up your merch. Only got till September 5th, till it is gone forever. So in case you're wondering why I eat French toast every day, it's clearly because the macros are phenomenal. And yes, I just put a hoodie on because New Jersey is entering the fall season, so it's getting really cold really quickly, especially in the morning. <laughs> All right, everybody, I've got my rainbow unicorn socks on, which means I am ready and I'm not joking around. So we're going on our morning walk and we're gonna have a little bit of an adventure by having our second coffee, getting a little bit cracked out. I'm walking around, it's like a little past 6.30 right now and there's a kid on a scooter flying by. All I think is that was me three months ago. Yeah, I always go on these walks. It's where I write my scripts and kind of think of all my good ideas. You guys got to try them out for yourself. I go on a walk with my mom every morning. She's pretty much my manager and tells me what I can and cannot do, so. Cheers, right Ma? Cheers. See you guys after. The next thing that I'm gonna do for the day and something that I highly recommend you guys getting into is planning out your day and writing a few things that you need to do and a few things that you're grateful for. It leads to a better day. It starts your day off right, get your mind right. And that's kind of like the theme of my mornings is just to get my mind right and ready for the day. That way I can just attack it and get everything done. So for me, the three things I'm grateful for and that make me happy are my supporters, striving for happiness, and just to be myself. Then to do, we got to film a secret project and lift. Oh, I forgot to put on, pick up some single moms, but I guess that's, we'll do that tomorrow then. After I do that, I'm pretty much just gonna work on my computer and do a bunch of editing, emails, and all that stuff because I have a lot to catch up on. Now, a lot of you guys have been doing this Living Like Jesse James series where you guys try out Living Like Me and you record it and put it on YouTube. If you guys do make a video where you're trying my daily routine and you put it out on YouTube, DM me the link. I will repost it 100% as long as I see it. I really appreciate the support, guys. It means so much more than you possibly know. All right, so I guess we'll just get start oh I guess we'll just get started on uh on editing all right we're jumping into the workout I work out about 10 o'clock most days just after I finish editing or doing emails and then I get into my workout today we're doing some legs we're gonna be hitting some heavy squats and then a bunch of accessories. And I'm gonna give you guys my top five tips for getting a better leg workout in, growing your legs, and overall just training them properly. So we're gonna just dive into the first one and we're gonna go over my squat essentials. So pretty much you're gonna to wanna to squat in either some flat shoes or some squat shoes or barefoot. It definitely makes a huge difference with the feeling of the floor. You don't wanna be squatting in any running shoes. I got a belt and I got knee sleeves. Now I'm not sponsored by any company that does gym equipment, but if you're out there and you wanna sponsor me, feel free to hit me up. You don't need these things, but they definitely help having a better leg day, especially the belt and the shoes. Those are the number one things that you do need. So let's squat, baby.
The next trick is gonna be to make sure you guys prioritize warm-ups, flexibility, and stretching. Because if you can't do the form perfect, you're just gonna waste your time, and that's gonna lead into the other tips that I'm gonna get into. So make sure you're warming up properly, that way you can get full range of motion. So I only put on my belt for my last warm-up set. It's the only time I'll wear my belt, besides my working sets. <laughs> So the next big tip is gonna to be to use a full range of motion. As you guys just saw my squats, I was going ass to grass. If you can go to ass to grass, definitely recommend you guys do it with good form, of course. Don't sacrifice form for anything. It's all about the motion of the ocean, my friends. I've said it before and I'll say it again. <sighs> Am I right, ladies? Now that we're finished with squats, we're gonna go into some leg extensions, and this is where I find the most progress made. We're gonna do one leg at a time, starting off with our smaller leg, and then we're gonna move into the double leg extension. This is a great way to work on imbalances of your muscles. The next tip is gonna be to focus on the contraction, the burn, and the stretch of the muscle. If you're not using a full range of motion and you're not focusing on those three things, you're really gonna struggle to feel the muscle work. Another thing with this exercise is to yank yourself into the floor. That way you're actually activating a lot more muscle and you're using a lot more muscle fiber to work. It's just the best way to do it. That's a set. All right guys, we're about to do the Fit Girl Special. It's called the Smith Machine Leg Press. We're gonna do it for our thighs. Thighs, the Fit Girls are getting to me. We're gonna do it for our quads. We're gonna do four sets, so let's dive into it. All right, my eyes are up here, everyone, all right? Watch where you're looking. There we go. Fit girl, body achieved. All right, the last and final tip is gonna be to not forget your damn hamstrings. So many guys are walking around with some quads and no hamstrings. Listen, the ladies are looking at the back. We've done research through other videos, trust me. We're gonna do single leg first and then go into double leg. Just working on the imbalances once again. Let's hit it. All right, everybody, we have finished up legs. We're now gonna move ourselves onto abs. We're just doing a little bit. I'm gonna do 100 leg raises, alternating side, side, front. So that's about to be brutal. My legs are gonna fall off, but hell, at least we'll be shredded. Try it out. It's a great way to do it if you only got like five, 10 minutes. Let's give it a go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for lunch. We have finished the workout and that means one thing. We need to have our transparent labs, supplements, creatine, prebiotic greens, and post. This is my go-to for after my workout, along with what we're about to cook up. So get some pens and papers because we are gonna educate the hell out of you. We got a chicken salad and of course, diet ice cream. <laughs> So we got my big salad, and this is something I eat every single day. So if any of you guys are trying out my schedule, you gotta make sure you have a big salad. But then we're gonna have our ice cream with a little bit of a side kick to it, so you'll see in a second. But this salad came in to 49 grams of protein, 35 carb, and only three fat, super low in calorie. Obviously it's huge, it fills you up. 
Those are two things that she said. We also have some mushroom and some sweet potato in there. Having a little bit more carbs because the breakfast was nice and light. I did have a snack in between, it was the magic pop. I'm rambling, once again, happy days. Let's dive in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gathered here today for the marriage of Jesse and the last bite. Last bite, best bite, baby. In my daily routine, it is required that you must eat ice cream outdoors in the sun, preferably in the hot tub. If not, bring a bucket of water outside and let it warm up. It'll work. We're gonna enjoy ourselves. We have none other than the diet ice cream that I love. Comment down below, what is your guys' favorite dessert? Is it ice cream? We know damn well mine's ice cream. Six fat, 60 carb, and four protein. Not too shabby. We're gonna sit back, relax, and dive in. Just wanna give a quick shout out to Stelios Crudis for recommending the song Moon Boy by Bennett Coast. Check it out, comment below your favorite song. I actually do need some new music to listen to. Not that I'm sick of mine. I love seeing what other people enjoy and kind of like feeling out their vibe, but this song is phenomenal. So check it out and let me know what you guys like. I've got a blank space, baby. And I'll write your name. All right, people, it is now time to chill out just a little bit. It's about 2.30 right now, and we're gonna catch up on some YouTube along with some more editing and stuff. Guys, I edit pretty much all day long, just in between everything. Making your own videos is a lot of work. Can't complain, I have the best job ever. But I would appreciate if you do hit that subscribe button. It makes everything even better. Appreciate you guys. We're gonna work on a little bit of stuff, probably get some stuff ready to, for our video post tomorrow. Get my Instagram post for later tonight. I like to kind of just chill and do a little bit of work during the day, but I do most of my work work and training and everything in the morning and night. I just find I'm more efficient. Whenever you have the most energy or whenever you're the most creative, that's when you should be doing the majority of your work. I promise you, you'll get a lot done. So right now I'm not as efficient, I guess you could say. So that's why I'm just going to chill out, kind of get the boring stuff done and then go and do other stuff. Cause you guys know a little for the next meal. I'm extremely bored and I have nothing to do, so I'm gonna go buy some food. That should be a song and it should be on a t-shirt because literally I think you all can relate. Let's go. Feed this into my veins. Let's go. Woo! Bubba Coos burritos, here I come. Let's do this. See you there. Boom. Keep your pants on people because this is about to look so good. Oh, oh yeah, that's what's up. So I'm going to attempt to eat half of this. Attempt as in try to control myself and not eat all of it. It's really good. I got some chicken, some rice, some double beans, and a bunch of vegetables just to load it up. We do have a little bit of Mexican food for later tonight with the family. So if you're ready for John and Karen, just stay tuned. But we're gonna eat some of this and chill out for a bit. There's nothing like vlogging in the car. Taste test, numero uno, baby. Bubba Coos Burritos actually has, I think it tops Chipotle. Mark my words. Let's dig in. Self-control, it was at an all-time high today, so we did some good damage, and we only ate half it. We officially hit 95,000 subscribers. Holy sh But we're gonna head home, go eat with the family in a little while, get some more work done, and just keep bringing you along for the day. If you guys are wondering where my friends are, why don't you guys let them know? I'm just kidding, they're all at school and sh No, this, I'm holding it for a friend, dad come. Hey, Karen, you got the stuff? <gasps> oh, never mind, Jesse's here. Come on, should I do this? My baby. <laughs> How funny would that be? Ah, I didn't say anything about ice cream. <laughs> Should I laugh like the that? The laugh was good, yeah. <laughs> I, did, I messed it up. <laughs> Listen, Sarah. <laughs> Do you want to punch Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold Here in the household of the West, it is 5.30 now and we are gonna get some food. Big family dinner. We got cauliflower rice, avocado, beans, some ground beef, John and Karen. Can you pass the, the beef, John? Sure. John Withy. Here's the beef. <laughs> Here's the beef. Family. There's jalapenos there. <laughs> <laughs> 
The people want to know. He doesn't like to talk when he's. Scared. Guys, John's camera shy. Karen. I'm camera shy too. <laughs> Last bite. Best, Best bite. Way. All right, guys, so that meal was absolutely amazing. Shout out to Karen for whipping that bad boy up. It was great. We got 33 protein, 23 carb, and only six fat. Super macro friendly. What we did was cauliflower rice, and that's a great alternative to real rice because one, real rice is not that filling, and it's high in calorie. Cauliflower rice is probably just as filling, and it's literally like 50 calories for two cups, so uh, I think I'm gonna pick that. So pretty much for the remainder of the night, I'm just gonna work on some meetings, work on some business stuff, and then also do some editing. That's kind of what I do at night to night. A lot of my friends are back at college. As my school went completely online pretty much, I only have online classes, so we're gonna be doing that and uh, hopefully we won't have to stay in this room very much longer, so. But for now, we're chilling with John and Karen, I guess. It's been real, guys. Today we had 203 grams of protein, nice and high, 302 grams of carbohydrates, and 28 fat. Not too shabby, I think those are great macros. I'll put the total calories on the screen. Trying to keep things light, trying to keep the cardio a little bit higher than usual. Try to get back into that tip top shape because that McDonald's cheat day kind of screwed me over, not gonna lie. If you guys enjoyed this video or you did learn something, please do me a favor, hit the like button, but most importantly, join the family, join the movement, hit the subscribe button. It means the world to me. We're on the road to 100K, we're at 95 right now, and all I can say is thank you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stay relentless. Peace.